Hello, and welcome back to Memorabilia Month at Bubblegum and Leather. We're taking a look at some of the hobby's more obscure collectibles, uh, ranging from actual items from the field of play uh, to other prints and pieces of artwork that don't always fit inside a two and a half by three inch card. Today we'll be looking at baseball. We've got two artifacts I'm excited to rip open and examine today. Our first is going to be from Tops, tops.com. Um, love to get these packages in, but we see that 14th Street, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, return address, uh, coming straight from Tops Fulfillment. Love to see that. Um, now this order, this is going to be from the Game Within the Game series, available online at tops.com by artist Paul Yenis. Um, he, Paul will go through and paint um, portraits of these artists. This is the second year now that he's done it. I believe his Jonathan India um, painting uh, and Game Within the Game card is available on tops.com uh, while I'm making this recording. Um, that would have been his most recent one that I'm aware of. Uh, I believe he was slated to paint 16 of those this year and uh, I bought two or three. I, I really enjoyed the design. This is the first um, 10 by 14 inch prints, fine art prints, um, that I've ordered. Um, the, these are included and numbered um, up to uh, 99 uh, and uh, available for a little bit more than the cards themselves. They typically sell out very quickly, whereas the cards are available for uh, 14 to 15 days. Um, immediately we can see, like our last piece of memorabilia, um, if you'll recall, the media guide, Super Bowl media guide from Fanatics, also came in a very nice box. So again, this is a flat print. Um, so to see that we've got a box here that's very thick, um, box that is larger than the size of the canvas, of course. Um, this, this is a good sign to me out of the gate. Um, box looks like it's in good condition and it seems like we've got more packaging here than we would necessarily need. That is a great sign. So let's dig in. Let's see what we got cooking in here. On the top layer oh this looks great this looks beautiful I want to make sure you guys can see that we've got some little packaging fluff very very nice now on top of that we have our order and I'll let everybody see this as well um, I think this is really really done well done by tops again we can see that not only we had a little bit of packing paper there on top we also have an additional piece of cardboard, flat piece of cardboard. Um, I assume that my print is going to be underneath this. Uh, we can see that it has been um, identified um, as part of the QA process. Um, it, it does appear that what I've ordered has been included in the package. A little quality assurance goes a long way. I'm pull this out. And it does appear that my print is sandwiched between those two pieces of cardboard. Unlike Fanatics, unlike Fanatics, shout out to Tops. They put a little bit of packaging down here on the bottom of the box. That actually makes a big deal. Um, again, this, this bottom part is gonna have your edges, your folds. You can see that even how, how this got, got beat up. I want you guys to see this. Look at that inside of the box there. See how that's been raised and, and this has been kind of folded back. You know, the bottoms where these fold up, get, get, there's a lot of wear and tear that goes on down there. And it'd be easy for a print or some other, you know, box or a card to get dinged up down here. Which is why it's really nice to see tops include that packaging paper like we saw here. Uh, that was omitted, if you recall, from our last episode from that Fanatics shipment. So this is what my print looks like. This is really, really nice, guys. That's very, very, very even if I wanted to pull this out of the box, ensure that everything came and was and was um, was accurate and that I got what I ordered. In theory, I could still keep this kind of wrapped up. You know, I could archive it just like this if I wanted to. Um, I could also re-gift it in this manner as well. So again, very, very nice presentation by Tops. Um, I, I would be inclined if I was a collector almost to keep it packaged like this, um, but. That's not the point of the episode. Uh, we want to see what's inside. So let's uh, let's open this guy up. And I am using a very small setting on my exacting or my uh, packaging knife here. 
really not giving myself much of a margin for error when it comes to cutting this tape. What I mean by that is I've kept, I've kept the blade very, very short on the knife. Um, all right, here we are. Here's the grand reveal. And so even again, we have a third layer of protection on this fine art print. Um, if any of you are familiar with Paul uh, Yenis's work, and apologies if I am pronouncing that name wrong, um, I follow Paul on Twitter. Um, I've followed this series for a while now, over the past year. Um, uh, incredible artwork. Uh, he describes himself as making a fine art baseball card. Uh, I think you guys will see that if, you ha if you're unfamiliar with his work here in a minute. Um, but kind of give that preamble to say that Topps has, has really gone above and beyond here to protect, um, to protect this piece. It does feel like a very special piece of memorabilia, a very special piece of art. Um, uh, this, the packaging feels like it has done um, the collectible justice here. Um, so let's untape this and let's see what this looks like. And I'm able to just peel this up with my hand, you know, kind of going a little delicately. I don't think, I think some of this will rip a little bit, but we'll try to keep it intact as much as possible. Um, one of these things that you can tell right away with, with a package like this, um, somebody has, has put this together by hand. Uh, someone has inserted this and ensured um, the quality personally. Um, it is a little tight, you know, in, in this in this bag here. So we're going to pull that out very quickly. Um, don't want that to get caught on a corner. But I do appreciate the extra layer of protection that we found here within the box. And now, here's our Bo Jackson print. Hey, oh, folks, look at this. We got in under the wire. Number 97 out of 99. Your boy almost waited too long. Good thing. We got in, look at this print, look at this beautiful, beautiful print. Um, I, I hope you guys can see the color on this. The color is outstanding. Um, very, very great illustration of Bo. Um, really, really captures some of that energy, some of that athleticism. I can say that this is on a very nice um, uh, card stock. Uh, feels very sturdy. Um, it's got some, some eggshell type finish. Um, if we look on the reverse, you can kind of see that it does have a very light stipple texture. Uh, feels good to the touch. Feels like a fine art print. Um, the color is remarkable. The condition is pristine. Um, I see no wear and tear along any of the edges or corners. It does appear to be very well centered as well. Surface quality is good to my eye in the light that I have here in my studio. Um, I don't want to handle this too incredibly much, but folks, this looks to be an incredibly good shape. Um, again, I'll kind of place it on, on the backboard here, but you can see just what a nice piece of artwork this is, one overall. Um, hat tip to Tops and Paul, uh, Paul Yenis uh, on, on this incredible series of artwork. Um, very impressive. Um, but shout out to tops.com specifically um, for what appears to be a very well thought out um, shipping and handling process. Um, we had nice, crunchy, you know, extra fluffy paper uh, on the top and bottom of the package itself. Inside that, our print was sandwiched between two flat cardboard pieces. And in between those two cardboard pieces, our artwork was further encased in a nice little... Uh, baggy here uh, to, to protect the, the artwork from uh, sliding around against the cardboard. So three levels of protection. Excellent job by Tops. This, this is a piece of artwork that I'm probably going to want to frame and display, uh, but if I was a collector, I would feel great about archiving this. Um, if I kept it dry and out of the light, um, th this is a 10 out of 10 uh, to my eye. This looks like it would be a mint gem collector's item. So um, again, hat tip to Mr. Paul Yenis, hat tip to tops.com. Um, um, very, very well done. Um, I will put this back together. I do not want to scratch the surface of that. So I'm gonna, going to kind of set it up back like this and we'll move this over. 
Um, so very well, very well done. I believe I gave our fanatics uh, a, a ten uh, ranking, a one out of ten ranking. Um, this would be um, a ten out of ten. Uh, I, I think fanatics. God, we gave fanatics an above average score. Uh, tops. A uh, really, really good job on this. Um, that's that's the standard. That's what I would look for on a purchase like this, a, a, a numbered purchase, something that's limited. Um, th this is the standard. Um, I, I, I am struggling for a reason to rank that a nine. Um, I cannot think of anything that I could possibly improve. Um, there's always uh, shipping times. Um, that can be a concern coming out of tops. Um, that may be the only the only thing. Um, I think that that knocks that down even a half point. Um, we'll say that's a nine and a half on Topps' end. Uh, very good job uh, packaging front to back. A um, little bit of the delay uh, like we see on stuff getting out. Um, not quite as quick as some of our other vendors, but all in all, a really great job. Um, we do have one more baseball uh, piece for you guys. This one's just coming off of eBay. Um, so I did pick just a random seller. We are not going to disclose that seller at this time. Um, one of the juxtaposed, you know, part of what we do at the hobby, you know, buying things from these vendors, uh, also go online and, and buy things from individuals as well. Uh, I wanted to take an opportunity to see how, so yeah, how confident can we feel buying uh, old items, uh, items that don't necessarily fit inside a, a um, you know, a, a one touch case. Um, you know, do we have confidence in, in the hobby and in the community uh, to send us these things in good, good condition? Um, Let's find out. This is going to be a um, Cincinnati Reds letterhead um, from what I believe is the 50s, um, if I recall correctly. Um, this would be um, a piece of correspondence, I believe, sent from one of the minor league or farm teams. Um, and uh, has got the Cincinnati Reds letterhead and address at the top. Uh, I believe this would have been during the Crosley Field era. Um, again, right off the top, we do get the uh, nice little eBay tracking. Um, I will say that this did ship and arrive in very good time, similar to our Fanatic shipment from last week. <clears throat> uh, I do appreciate, uh, really do appreciate seeing uh, the Please Do Not Bend. Um, that, that is nice. Now this is a sturdy, a, a sturdy package. I believe that we have some cardboard in here, uh, which again is great. Um, but uh, that's nice to see. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, folks might not might not read that. Your local uh, mailman uh, might not care. Um, but just in case somebody is paying attention, uh, taking the time to just write, hey, this is fragile, please don't bend this, um, you know, and on the back as well, right? Just a very, very nice handwritten note there uh, that, that talks to the contents here. Um, this seller obviously uh, was concerned about getting this uh, item over to me in good condition. Um, and I uh, appreciate that little extra bit of verbiage there um, to help ensure that, that this arrives the way that it's intended. Again, going to be very delicate with my knife as I cut into this. And in fact, I think what I'm going to do... So because this is uh, uh, eight and a half by eleven um, letterhead, I don't have a lot of wiggle room in my package to really make a really clean cut with my knife. So I did tear along the very top of the package here, as you can tell. Just kind of got a very small cut, and then use my finger to open that up to make sure I don't cut or scrape <laughs> the actual item that's in this package. We got a few things here. <clears throat> so we got a few things. Nice little piece of cardboard. Now this cardboard is a little beat up, you know. I'll, I'll grant you that. Uh, but again, we're not dealing with a with an official, um, you know, e-commerce uh, dot com platform. This is just somebody uh, out of their own personal collection. Um, and again, I appreciate this. This helped make sure that the package was rigid, uh, was protected, and we did also include. Uh, the item that I ordered uh, in a priority mail envelope. Uh, so again, um, two levels of protection here. Uh, for something off of eBay, I consider that a very good job well done. Uh, now I will say, as I peek into this to take a look, uh, good, good, good. I was a little worried at first that this was just sitting in there raw. Uh, but we do have the three levels of protection just like our previous shipment. Um, so 
We have the, the envelope with the please do not bend. We have the additional piece of cardboard. We have the flat rate envelope. And we also have um, uh, the um, plastic sleeve to, to enclose this uh, piece of memorabilia in. So let's take a look at what we got here. This is from the Cincinnati Baseball Club Company, Games at Crosley Field, General Offices at 307 Vine Street. The letter is dated August 1st, 1956. Addressed to Mr. George Trotman, President of the National Association of the PBBL. And signed by WMB McKenzie Jr., Supervisor of the Minor League Clubs. Um, the letter appears to be in great condition. Um, there is a smite, slight crease down here on the bottom left corner. Um, very, very slight. I'm going to pull this out so we can see that, actually. Um, a few notes about the letter. So we can see that there's a slight crease along the top, slight crease along the bottom. And, we, and I can also see... Very hard, probably very hard to pick up on the camera here, but there are some fold lines here from where it was clearly folded and pressed into an envelope and actually sent. So, you know, for an item that's almost, uh, let me do some quick math here, 70 years old, um, you know, I think this is still in really good condition. This is about as described, um, you know, um, if I ordered this, I feel like it, that I got, um, you know, an accurate representation. Um, not too concerned about sending it to since to be graded. Uh, actually, I think this will be a really cool piece for my Cincinnati memorabilia collection. I, I really enjoy Mr. Redleg here. All these iterations of the logo um, are great to see. Um, and uh, as a graphic designer, having some actual letterhead from the Crosley Field era is really cool. Um, I think that the seller has done an excellent job of uh, protecting this piece. I, I think it's clear that any sort of, of, of a folds, uh, any sort of uh, discoloration, um, it's just from the wear and tear that this piece has had over time. Uh, certainly nothing that happened during shipment, um, thanks to the thoughtful protection of this eBay seller. Um, really impressed with both of these items that I've ordered that we broke today. On this eBay seller, um, I, I think this is a, a... You know, I was going to say an 8 out of 10. I think this has got to be a 9 out of 10. You know, I think when someone goes to the trouble to have, you know, f essentially three different envelopes plus an additional layer of packaging um, on this piece for, for regular eBay shipment, this was not a high dollar item. Um, really, really think this is a job well done by this seller. Um, and really think this is a job well done by Tops as well um, coming through on their game within the game shipment. Um, so two really good rips today, guys. I'm really excited about this. I wasn't sure how either of those would turn out. Um, that was the first time I've ordered a fine art print from Tops. This is my first time ordering any sort of uh, memorabilia that's dated quite this old, um, as far as the letterhead goes on eBay as well. So thanks for tuning in. Um, we're really glad that you guys are, are, are watching these videos. Hopefully they're giving you a little bit of insight into some things that maybe you um, wanted to order, but we're a little hesitant on. Um, as always, we'd love to hear your stories um, in the comments below. Um, and, and the reason that we're doing this, of course, guys, is about our wire-to-wire -wire, uh, bubblegum and leather quality assurance. Um, you, you know that we are committed to providing a world-class customer experience for each and every one of our transactions throughout the wide world of bubblegum and leather. Um, from start to finish, um, our holistic approach to fulfillment um, is focused on customer success ensuring your investment ship on time, well protected, and exactly as advertised. Um, our wire-to-wire -wire pledge means that we don't take any days off in our commitment to serve you, our valued customer. So please put us to the test. Um, order something off of our eBay store and let us know how that arrived. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback. Um, we do have more memorabilia uh, month left, uh, we, just, a, just a few days left. Um, but uh, we will have a few more videos for you guys on these relic rips. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be looking into uh, opening up some soccer memorabilia and some basketball memorabilia as well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe if you have the time. We sure do appreciate it. Um, that's all from me this morning. Signing off. This is Joe.